for more untold stories from our history subscribe to our channel and share with your family and friends what use can an ordinary stone pestle be it can only pound grains right wrong in the hands of a very ordinary woman a stone pestle became a weapon to do something very very heroic her courage and quick thinking single-handedly saved the fort that day welcome to itihasa series taking you to your roots every generation is a bridge it needs to pass on collected wisdom from the past to younger generations let's get informed and inspired by itihasa in the late 18th century chitradurga which is now a district in karnataka was ruled by a palegara or a chieftain named madakari nayaka haider ali ruled mysore and had been going buck wild with his army trying to conquer kingdom after kingdom he wanted to conquer chitradurga which was known for its legendary fort so he summoned his nearby vassals from rayadurga and harappanahalli to hatch a plan to enter into the fort the chitradurga fort had seven lines of defense a moat surrounded the fort with fort walls around 8 to 15 meters high the gateways inside the fort were to be spiked and were accessible at 90 degree turns it seemed almost impossible to gain an entry into this impenetrable fort A spy informed Hyder Ali about a crack or a crevice in the fort's rocky exterior which could be used to gain entry. This had to be done when the watch guard went to have lunch. Hyder Ali sent about 200 soldiers from his vassals through the crevice. The plan was to open the fort's main door from the inside. but the only constraint here was only one soldier could creep in at a time madh hanuma the guard who was responsible for the bateri or a watch tower around the crevice went home to have lunch as usual his wife obava served him a meal and realized that the water pot was empty She went to a nearby pond to fetch water. On the way, she heard noises near the crevice in the fort's rocky areas. Joining the dots, she ran back home but found her husband eating blissfully. Not wanting to disturb him, she grabbed a heavy wooden pestle lying in the corner. and ran back she tucked her sari in and held the wooden pestle waiting for a head to appear out of the crevice in the rock within seconds of the first soldier popping his head out she pounded his head with the onake or pestle calmly she dragged out his lifeless body showed it to the side and set herself up for the next soldier unfortunately for the soldiers they were in stealth mode so when soldier number 2 didn't hear anything from soldier number 1 that was totally the plan he wasn't supposed to be making any noise so this continued whack there went a skull whack another skull cracked whack that was one more skull in no time there was a pile of bodies next to obava Her husband came in search of her but was stunned to see the Mahakali avatar of his wife. He saw his bloodied panting wife standing beside a towering pile of corpses. 
he immediately sounded his bugle to alert his forces. The reinforcements arrived within no time. There was a fierce battle between the soldiers of Hyder Ali and the Nayakas of Chitradurga. Quite obviously, the Nayakas won. The Karinayaka was highly impressed by the valor displayed by Obawa. He gave her three bags of gold. She was paraded all over the kingdom. An ordinary woman, inspired by a sense of duty, had saved her fort and she is known even today as Onake Obawa to the pestle she used and the crevice that she guarded with such ferocity is still famous in Chitradurga as Obawa Nakindi the crevice that Obawa guarded many believe that Obawa died guarding her kingdom but we found contradicting evidence that proves otherwise recorded history of the Chitradurga kings and Muslim historical sources attest to her having lived even after this incident. Now, let's ask ourselves, how many of us have the courage to do what she did if the situation arose?